Well, hello, YouTube. It's Melody from Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It. As you can see, I have you pointed in the bowl of the KitchenAid. Uh, why is that? Because I started to make what I call my 1986 sour cream banana bread. And um, with the crazy times that are going on, I didn't get to spend um, my Easter with my family. And a video call just came in and stopped my video that I was doing for you guys. So, um, this Easter was very, very different. I hope everyone is well and safe and healthy still. Um, and I am just going to pick up and fill you in on exactly what I'm doing. I am making my 1986, that's what I call it, it's the year my daughter was born, uh, my 1986 sour cream banana bread. Uh, the only difference is, is I'm doubling it, doubling the recipe so that I can have one and my son can have one. Uh, this is a great recipe if you want to have one for your family and freeze one. So I will basically just go over what I did so that you're not left out at all. I did um, my regular recipe is for one loaf, but I doubled it. Okay. Yes. I just thought somebody else was going to interrupt on my phone again. Anyway, um, my regular recipe is for one loaf, but I'm doubling it. So I will leave the ingredients in the description down below, but I will fill you in on the ingredients and what I started and we'll pick up from there. So a lot of people like to call me Mama Mel. So I could be calling it Mama Mel sour cream um banana bread but yeah i'll figure out the title uh so basically what i did was um one cup of butter melted um i did two cups of white sugar four eggs one teaspoon of vanilla no i actually did um two teaspoons of vanilla extract um I'm just going off of my old recipe for like one banana bread. So for a single, it's one and a half cups of flour. So um, I did two, three cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. That's kind of where we left off. What I started was with the sugar and incorporated the sugar and the melted butter till it creamed. And then I added one egg in at a time. What is that on my paddle? Oh, piece of the banana. Okay. Um, I basically just beat it until it was um, a pale yellow, which is the sugar, the melted butter, and the eggs. I added one egg at a time um, until it became, you could see down there, that nice yellow color now i just added the flour along with the baking soda i already added the salt uh, the vanilla was put in after i mixed um, each egg separately you know individually um yes i did do that okay so where are we uh, my oven is preheating to 350 i'm using two nine by five pans let me show you this is my Rachel Ray pan. Took a beating, but that's okay. And I'm using a Pioneer pan. Um, Cause like I said, I basically just doubled the batch. Um, my normal recipe would be two medium bananas. I did four again, because I'm doubling my recipe. And now um, I did tell you that the ovens preheated to 350. I did butter my nine by five loaf pans um i did in a large bowl you could just do it in a regular bowl with a wooden spoon but i did it in the kitchen aid was stir together the melted butter and the sugar add the eggs um one at a time um to fully incorporate it and it's that you know beautiful yellow color and the vanilla mix well uh now i combined the flour the baking soda and the salt and it says you can stir it into the mixture now, but again, 
I'm using my KitchenAid, just taking a little shortcut. And um, so we are going to mix that. You don't want to mix that for too long because it will make a very dense um, banana bread and we don't want that. So um, we also need to add, this is where the good stuff comes in at. Let me get it out first of all. We have to add the sour cream before I forget. Let me just locate the sour cream. That might help. Ah, isn't it funny? Sometimes things are right in front of your face and then you just don't say it. So yes. I'm using a dollop of daisy sour cream and if you were making just one loaf you would only be using a half a cup of sour cream but I'm going to be adding in a cup of sour cream so we are going to open up the new sour cream this is the big tub that's the brand that I use that I like Take off the seal. I'm just going to give this, I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to give this an ever so light mixing and then I'll add the sour cream into it. Sour cream. I'm going to stop it right there. Sorry if I'm rattling you guys. I just got it on my mixer. That's a half. And I'm going to do one more half. Sour cream. There is the one cup of sour cream that makes it amazing. Try not to leave any in the little measuring cup. So sorry you missed the beginning, but oh, it's just the way my life goes. Okay. I did the four bananas. And I am going to put... These are the bananas. I'm going to put that in as well. If you have extra bananas, just a little trick for you. If you have extra bananas laying around, stick them in your freezer. I don't know if you know that trick. And you can use them um, at a later time. Just pull them right out of your freezer. And you can make banana bread whenever you want. Um, everybody always thinks when they're dark and ugly looking that they're disgusting, but that's actually when they are the best. So yeah, just a little trick right there is to take your extra bananas that are laying around and put them in your freezer and use them for another time. I am not putting any nuts or chocolate chips in this, so we're going to start mixing this together. Right. We're going to stop it. This is not my regular scraper that I use. Currently don't know where it's at. I just want to give a scraping on the side of the bowl. And you're just going to turn it up for a few minutes. Just to make sure that everything is incorporated. Don't want to overmix because that is how you end up with more of a dense type of banana bread. 
Okay. I know you're not supposed to do it. But I want to give this a little taste tester. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to give this one quick whirl. <laughs> And that was just to make sure that the cream cheese and the banana and everything is all incorporated. Super easy recipe. Um, I will put just the regular recipe down below. Um, and then you can double it yourself. Uh, when I go to upload the video, I guess I should say. I will leave the ingredients down in the description and then if you want to double it like I am, feel free. So, I'm going to back you up. If you wanted to put cinnamon in it, you could add cinnamon into this as well. Um, I like the way it tastes just now. You can also add walnuts. But I am not putting any of that in there. This is just going to be strictly banana bread. Um, if you want to sprinkle a little cinnamon on the top, you could do that. So let me try to get this off. And scrape it. So yeah, this would be good if you made two and left one at your neighbor's door. Or... For me, for an example, my son is going to do a drive-by, and I will give him one, and I will keep one. Super easy recipe. Mm. Delicious. Okay. Now, I'm going to back you up so that you can see. I'm going to try to split it evenly as possible in my two pans, like I said, that are already buttered. But just in case, I probably don't have much left in this. It has a little bit of flour. I'm just going to give it a little extra dousing just to make sure it comes out. Yeah, it's like... I'm going to have to get some more... So very, very simple. Um, like I said, you will be putting it in a 350 degree oven um, for about 60 minutes or until a toothpick insert it, you know, and the center comes out clean. Cool the loaf in the pan for 10 minutes before removing it to a wire rack to cool completely. Um, you also could do raisins as an optional thing, nuts, whatever. Um, like I said, you can add um, cinnamon if you wanted to, or some nutmeg, some freshly ground nutmeg into that. That'd be great. I just wanted to make my old school style 1986 banana bread. And this is how I made it way back in the day with sour cream. It keeps it moist, makes it delicious, and now we're going to try to evenly disperse the batter, which looks glorious. on it making a mess look at the batter how creamy and smooth it is can you see that amazing I usually like to use my pampered chef spatula because it works really well and I just don't know where it's at currently at the moment let me just double check something real quick See if it's in the drawer where it's supposed to be. I'm not seeing it. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that. I will show you what the pans look like. 
You basically will get two out of this and you want to split the batter as evenly as possible amongst the two pans. So you only miss me creaming the butter, the sugar, unfortunately. And there we go. I don't think I wasted any in the bowl. And now what I will do, just take your, if you have an offset spatula, you can use that as well. And just even it out as best as possible. It's not complicated, this banana bread at all. It's a very good way of using up your bananas. And a lot of people don't even, um, I just picked out a banana string. Um, like I said, if you have extra bananas, use them. You can also add cinnamon or nutmeg or walnuts, but to me, this is my traditional 1986 sour cream banana bread. Um, my daughter used to devour this every time I made it and I haven't made it in a bit and I did have some bananas to use up. So there they are. I will give you a closer look as soon as I wash my hands and I still have extra bananas. So I will be taking my own advice and putting them in the freezer. I do kind of like to clean up as I go along. Just makes my life easier. Okay, here is the one in the Rachel Ray pan. Sometimes you can bang them, let the air bubbles out. This is the one in the Pioneer Woman pan. And I am gonna put them on the center rack of my oven. something out of the oven that I forgot was in there. Right in the center rack of your oven. I will show you. Let me close the tripod. They are on the center rack of the oven and it will be, uh, what did I say in 60 minutes? And it'll be like two minutes for you guys. So I will see you in a few seconds as soon as it's done. Okay guys, I figured I would turn on the camera. The banana bread is not done yet, but I wanted to let you see what it looks like. Give you a sneak peek. Looking good, looking good. We got a little bit more to go. I'm gonna just sit you right there on the top of my stove very quickly um, because I feel bad. Because again, another beginning of my video was messed up. Um, started off good, but you know, those video calls will kill whatever you're recording. So, uh, this is my 1986 sour cream banana bread. Um, I said I will leave all the ingredients down below in the description box for you guys, but I figured I would just go over and tell you them re really quickly. So you need a half a cup of butter melted, one cup of sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sour cream, one cup of chopped walnuts, it's optional, uh, two medium bananas. Um, you can also do raisins, cinnamon, nutmeg. That is all up to you guys to play around with the recipe however you like. Um, I just wanted my sour cream banana bread today. Um, your oven will be preheated for 300 on 350 degrees. 
you're going to grease a nine by five inch loaf pan um, and a large bowl or you can use the KitchenAid like I just did. You'll start to get together the melted butter, the sugar, you'll add the eggs. Once that's all creamed, you'll add the eggs one at a time, um, you know, until it gets that beautiful yellow color. And then you're going to add your vanilla and you're going to mix it well. Then you're going to want to combine your flour, your baking soda, and your salt. You're going to stir it into the batter or use your mixer um, and mix it until it's smooth. Um, and then finally just fold in the sour cream and your bananas and spread them evenly into prepared pans. Um, it does bake for 60 minutes, in case I didn't tell you that. And it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, I call this my 1986 sour cream banana bread because I used to make it all the time uh, when my daughter was younger. And um, I thought, you know, I will add this to the back to basics because it's so easy. A lot of people probably have the butter and sour cream and some bananas hanging around. The other thing I wanted to point out is don't forget that little trick that if you have bananas that are not looking attractive, you can throw them into your freezer and um, use them at a later date. Now, you can also, the second trick that I learned, if you have ripe bananas, I don't know if you know this or not, but you put the ripe bananas, three or four on a cookie sheet, and you put it in the oven, I think it's like 350. I'll write that down in the description. Don't hold me to that for a couple minutes and it'll blacken them, like literally. And then all you have to do is let it cool, peel the skin off, and there's your bananas in case they're ripe. That was the second trick that I wanted to share with you guys. But um, yeah, like look, I have more bananas. Let me take you with me. I have more bananas right there that I could be using up. But I just used up a batch. This is the last banana on that batch that I just made that banana bread. Two loaves of banana bread out of. Because like I said, I doubled the batch. To kids, everyone else, this looks gross and disgusting. And your banana is the sweetest when it gets like that. These bananas are still not too, too bad. And I don't know if I'll get to them. So I may throw these into the freezer. Um, what else did I want to talk to you about before? Let me sit you down. Um, in case I probably look like total yuckiness. Oh, my mask fell. Um, yeah, I started, I didn't get a chance to discuss this prior. It was kind of sprung on me very quickly was to ask me if I wanted to do like a Q&A. Um, people have been asking me some questions um, in my Instagram account. And I decided that I wanted to let everyone know that I'm going to do Q&A Tuesday. Uh, my videos will stay the same Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But on Tuesday, for as long as I possibly can until whenever this is over and I can move, I will do a QA and a on every Tuesday um, in regards to whatever questions. Um, that video I'm going to post, let me see, this banana bread recipe will be posted tomorrow. Um, that's when you'll see it tomorrow. And today technically was my first Q&A and it was on my ninja coffee bar um so yeah unfortunately another question came in about the ninja coffee bar that i will probably do next tuesday but i just wanted to let everyone know what is going on with tuesdays is it will now be um q a tuesdays um a few of the comments where we see the things that you bake with we have questions you have a lot of ninja products can you discuss them so that is basically what is going on on Tuesdays if you see an extra video. Um, I did throw in my Ninja Blender along with that video. If you have not seen it, go back and go take a look at it. Um, if you like exotic coffees from, say, Starbucks or whatever, 
that will save you a lot of money. You can make your own frozen um, caramel frappuccinos or a hot macchiato. You can make all of that from this. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there while we're waiting for the banana bread to uh, go over and take a look at that video. And just to let my audience, should I say, know that every Tuesday will be a Q&A. So if you have any questions about anything, you know, pertaining to maybe me, my house, the things that I use, um, cooking, my daily life, uh, whatnot, that will be on Tuesday, um, every Tuesday at noon, um, on my other videos, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at eight o'clock. So I didn't get to do an actual sit down and discuss that prior to me actually doing the video. And then when I, um, did the banana bread and then the whole beginning got cut off. I feel like you guys never get to see the actual, the butter, the creaming, the butter and the sugar. Eventually we'll get it right. Um, there's just one app that my family uses. Like I said, I didn't get to spend Easter with anyone on, well, on Easter. I didn't see my, my grandbabies or my own babies. I spent it alone and uh, it was different and very sad. And um, so my daughter had all day to get me. It's just the luck of the draw and she ends up getting me right as I had already started the beginning of my 1986 sour cream banana bread. So deeply apologize for that. Um, in case anyone doesn't know how to cream um, maybe sugar and butter. Um, you know, I, that's how I feel bad. Um, so basically you would put, this was melted butter for this banana bread. I put the sugar in the KitchenAid bowl. I added the melted butter. I started creaming that together. And then I started to add, uh, I had four eggs. I added one at a time and gave it a chance to mix and get to that beautiful puffy yellow color and my vanilla. And then you saw the rest. Now we're just gonna wait for the banana bread or the sour cream banana breads to come out of the oven. And um, yeah, I will bring you back as soon as that happens. In YouTube world, it's a little bit longer for us and super quick for you guys. But I just wanted to take a minute. Yeah, and I'm still planting other things. I'll have a video coming out on that. Um, just to give you an idea. But yeah. So I just wanted to do a quick sit down and just explain the Q&A uh, Tuesdays. So that no one's like, okay, what is she doing now? So this is where we're at with the banana bread looking amazing we're almost there so hang tight and i will bring you back as soon as it's done okay everyone they are coming out of the oven they smell amazing look amazing look at that oh there goes my timer my other timer Okay, I had to tell my Alexa to turn off. I had that timer lit. Lit? Yeah, right. Okay, turned on. Let's try that again. I can speak English today. So there is my recipe that I call my 1986 um, sour cream banana bread. Now, was it sour cream? I feel like I just can't hold it together today, folks. Let me see. Uh, yeah, sour cream. For some reason, I was thinking I said cream cheese. 1986 sour cream banana bread. I know this video is not perfect. I'm sorry. But they look amazing. They turned out great. They are done. I am going to put them on the rack to cool. And there you have it, ladies and gents. 
1986 sour cream banana bread um, it doesn't have any cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that in it uh, this is the way that I always made it since the 80s I absolutely love it and uh, sorry about the beginning of the video um, I will leave the recipe in the description box uh, down below as a matter of fact, I am going to snap a picture for Instagram with you guys on it. There we go. Let me get it. Oh. One more. Okay. So, there. I just uh, took a couple pictures for Instagram. So, I know this video is all over the, pla the place. Can't even get my words out right today. But it's done. Smells amazing in here. And just look it is so moist and that's the big thing about not over mixing it and using the sour cream because it tastes amazing so give this recipe a try I will leave the recipe down in the description box down below uh, the lighting's not the greatest right here and um, Thank you to the new subscribers. If you're just seeing this now, sorry, it's not always this chaotic, I promise. Um, but thank you for joining me on the channel. Thanks to all my other subscribers. It's just a little bit of a chaotic day today, but I'm glad that I got this recipe out there for you guys to enjoy. If you've ever made it with the sour cream, please leave me a comment down below. Um, and if you do try the recipe, Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think because I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, don't forget the two tricks. Uh, put your bananas in the freezer or if you have ripe bananas, you can put three or four in a cookie sheet. Um, I think at like 300 until the skin's brown, let them cool and you can pick your bananas out that way if you want to make the recipe. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, Smash the like button. Don't forget about Q&A Tuesdays now. So if you have any questions, you want me to review anything, which I did review that Ninja Coffee Bar with the blender right there on today's video. And you will be seeing this amazing sour cream 1986 banana bread tomorrow, which is Wednesday, because today is Tuesday. So I love you all. I hope that you were healthy and safe and I will be seeing you on the next video and if you want to follow me over on Instagram it's under the same name bake a leg and let's dig it and thank you for your patience and let me end this now God bless and I will see you on the next video bye everyone